And um, then after that, we settled down to watch a uh, sort of masterpiece of modern cinema, uh, Hall Pass, um, an Owen Wilson vehicle, uh, a real, just a classic modern cinema. And I was kind of thinking, you know, this Owen Wilson guy is sort of like uh, a more refined Nicolas Cage. It's like if Nicolas Cage dialed it back to sort of, you know, nine and a half or something. Anyway, wow, a real, real actor. Anyway, the concept of the film is uh, that a couple kind of give each other uh, a hall pass, if you will, you know, at a period where they could go and have relations with any one individual and they have to select that individual. And so we got to talking, she said, oh, maybe I'd have Owen Wilson or Brad Pitt or something. And I said, yeah, I'll have my ex-girlfriend. Um, and we, we didn't speak for a while after that. Um, anyway, in this video, I want to show you, firstly, how to load IRs. And then I also want to talk about this acoustic patch and try and load in some IRs and see if it's any different. So the first thing is when you download IRs, generally they're going to be in a zip file or zip folder, however you call it. And so I would extract it first uh, before you do anything else. So extract all and then you'll have all of your things there. Uh, for me at the moment it's an acoustic IRs because that's what I'm going to be experimenting with. So in HX Edit, um, there's this little IRs bit here, and so you can see all these empty slots. Uh, I don't use many IRs, I've got some free Tone Junkie ones and a free Own Hammer one, which I use for almost everything. So I'm going to load everything after here. So uh, import, right click, then go and find where it is. Good, it? And select them all and open. Hopefully this will work, otherwise that's going to be slightly embarrassing, isn't it? So it will then put them into place and then what we're going to do is start dropping them in. Uh, this is all you need to do actually to add IRs by the way. Um, I get occasionally some people asking why my presets don't sound like they do and generally it's because they haven't read the readme that I've put in the Google Drive and you need to add in uh, a couple of IRs, one into slot 52, the own hammer free one and for some of the Andy Timmons ones I use one of the Tone Junkie free ones. Of course there's literally loads and loads and loads of IRs out there on the market um, so if you do want to go down that rabbit hole you could. Right so Let's take a look at what we've got. So then we've got this preset. So this is using the new acoustic sim.
some people were saying to try using the middle pickup. Um, that has a different sound to the to the neck pickup. Not a bad one at all. So what we can do, um, that's what we're at at the moment. So I guess the first thing that you might want to try, add in an impulse response. So I'm going to choose the bigger one, smaller one. Let's go for the smaller one so that this could work on the uh, HX stomp as well. Then you've got this IR select slider. So this is where you're going to be selecting from this list of IRs on the left. Let's go for a classical guitar because I know what that should sound like. So if it can sound like a classical guitar, then I guess this IR thing must be a winner. These are some IRs that I had a bassist friend who sent me ages and ages ago. And so I'm just going to put on headphones and see what it sounds like. So if I turn off the uh, acoustic sim, I'll just sort of show you what that To me, it's not really doing much. That's uh, not to me sounding particularly like an acoustic guitar. I'll try another mic. So, right, I'll try uh, like a Gibson J45, maybe with a, a Neumann. Okay, that's doing a bit more of a thing. I'm thinking is let's try it after the so turn it down a bit so it's definitely doing a thing so acoustic IRs I think probably worth exploring if you're really looking to do this. But what else could we do? So what I'm thinking is we could um, blend an IR. So maybe I'll just stick one down on this path. And maybe we could blend several if we are in fact using a helix. And so what we could also do is just add another IR. So I'm going to copy that block, paste that, and then move this one down to here. And I'm going to use a different, uh, so let's use, I don't know, a Collings something with a Neumann mic. And if we pan left and right, I guess that would be the most sensible thing to do. maybe we'll end up with a uh yeah that's <laughs> that's sounding kind of nice so 
what's happening with this is we've now got a, like a massive stereo. So I'll just turn off this path again. So hopefully it's not just getting louder, but... Um, so I'll turn down this level slightly. Yeah, I, I mean, that's as good as a direct acoustic guitar sound as I've ever got. Um, without using a mic, I don't think it's that easy to get an acoustic to sound particularly good. Right, here's, I'm going to copy these into there as well. really enjoying that one so that's um, I'll save that as acoustic IR that's the first one um, and maybe I'll make this a stomp friendly version as well so that we could stomp well can't write the full stomp so if I put this IR up here and this one on this Right, so what I'm going to do is actually get rid of this split here, put the things after, because I do want a stereo split, but I also want the delay and the reverb to be on both instead of just on one of the IRs. if we can have that EQ can that be a, a stereo yes right so maybe if we put that after the two IRs turn down the mix of this delay as I said yesterday I think part of what works about an acoustic sound better is if you don't have loads of effects on it ah, right so it's lost my acoustic settings uh, So I think that also sounds pretty good. So that's the stomp version. Obviously the Helix version. Ooh, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> So in conclusion, I think this is definitely worth trying. That's how you uh, 
can experiment with IRs and how you load them. I'm gonna drop these presets into my folder so you can have a play with them. Um, and I'm also gonna now record a demo with them. And I think that's kind of a lot better than even we got to yesterday. Okay, here's yesterday's. Here's today's with the stomp. the helix yeah I really like that so um, yeah to load an IR you go to this little window here and then right click import and I don't know where these IRs are from uh, I'll try and find out um, but yeah, that works quite nicely, I think, if you load in some acoustic IRs. Certainly if you do it stereo on uh, a parallel signal path, I think you can get some really good results. Um, thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers.